Whoa. Whoopsies. All right. Hello, Internet. My name is Criminal Pancake, and we just saw my recording thing, which is amazing. But, oh, I don't know if you saw it, but I was kind of frozen there for a minute. Anyways, the point is, in the last episode, we began our great Pokemon adventure in Pokemon Leaf Green here. And in this episode, we're going to take our first step into the wild forever. Oh, man. Oh, this is crazy. Actually, we've been here before, but that was without Pokeballs, and we couldn't actually progress. And here we go. What is it, folks? It's a Rattata. I'm not speeding this up because I'm going to catch this little thing. Let's go. All right, did a solid chunk of damage there. I think over twice what it did. And now is the perfect opportunity to chuck a giant capsule ball thing at its face. Giving it brain damage, I mean, making it our friend. Right, guys? Yeah, right. Friendship. Always better than brain injuries. Okay, Rattata was caught. Alright. Now, bites anything that attacks. It's small and very quick. It's a common sight in many places. Yes. Now, as you should know by now, if you've watched my first LP, which is Emerald, you'll know that I always rename things when they evolve. So I can give it a really stupid name until it evolves, which is exactly what I'm going to do. What is this name going to be? Gonna be as many TNAs as I can fit on this crazy thing. Rattata. Yes. This is the best name for a Rattata. Alright, let's check this guy out. Girl out, rather. Rattata. Ah, uh, that's beautiful. It's cute. Alright, summary. Rash nature. Met on Route 1 at level 3. Look at that. Look at that number. 14 health. Running away. Easier with this guy. Woman. I don't know. Uh, okay, we got tackle and tail whip. I don't see a problem with that set at all, so. Let's just go. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go back to down. Heal up. Oh. It's a Pidgey at long last. Pidgey, it's a flying normal type. Um, yeah, that's about it. It's decent, but uh, nothing special. Yeah, real-time speed-ups, they, they are not that great. And... we're back. So now we can start our adventure with ra ta 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 and McDale. Ah, this is nice. Oh, wild Pokemon. Alright, since this is ra ta 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 first battle, that I'm actually going to participate in. I'm going to keep it in as normal. Oh, look at the damage. Ooh, that's an unfortunate stroke of luck, my friend. You know what? I'm just going to do switch training because I'm not going back. Well, now this is no longer his first battle that's actually going to be participating in. I'm just going to skip it like normal. Alright. 11 experience for both of you. Moving on. And another one, and we've already encountered both, so no matter what, I don't need to fight it. With normal speeds. I just really hope this doesn't throw the video out of whack. We'll have to see, won't we? Alright. Now. There it is. Woo! Made it through. And now we can heal up our. Strikes the fear into everyone's hearts. Does it? Yes, it certainly does. And this is a Pokemon Center where you heal everything for absolutely free. Because Pokemon economy is utopia. Apparently. They have all this crazy equipment in here. Pay for all these flowers, the building to be constructed. This computer, that computer, you know, flowers, tables furnishing in general. You have to water these plants, man. Unless these are fake. But that tree, man, that's not fake. It's got a pot. Dirt in it. All that stuff costs money. They don't ask for anything in return. Probably pay by tax. Honestly. But not for me, because I'm a child. Alright. What do we got going on here? Um. Hmm. The thing is, over here is a root. Before we can go to that route, I'm gonna get myself a potion. 
boop, and the original red and blue, which is this, this is the remake of, that would be in that tree. So, yeah. Now they changed that, which is probably for the better. Anyways, um, in this route, we've got some new Pokemon. I've used both, and I really don't feel like using either of them again, so I'm not going to. But up there, if you keep walking, you'll find Blue, and he's going to challenge you. But I'm just going to do some training here, because Richard needs it. And this is a Mankey. Very good Pokemon. It's the fastest fighting type in the game, I think. Pretty sure. But uh, for now, it's just kind of a monkey pig thing. And it's going to size up by leering at me, and then it's going to hit me with something awful. Scratch, huh? Doesn't have low kick. Fuck, that killed me. Oh my god, Richard. Uh, oh, I can't escape. This is terrible. Alright, I need to train on Route 1. This is bogus. Actually, you know what? I'm going to cut after this battle to when I am somewhere decently good to take out Blue. So, yeah. So we back to the overworld, I'm going to cut, and then I'm going to cut back to when I'm about to battle Mr. Guy. So, yeah. See you all in a bit. Alright. I'm back, and you can see, as you can see, 43 minutes. Now that's in game time. I've been using the speed up button like mad. So, let's take a look at what I've been doing. I've got McDale to level 9, and Richard to level 8. Actually, I meant to him to get to level 10, and then I just now realized that he's not level 10. Hmm. Well, whatever. And, uh, oh yes, Retrojitja right, learned Quick Attack at, like, level 7. Hey, Crimp! You're after the Pokemon League? Forget about it! You probably don't have any badges, do you? The guy will let you through without him. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? Oh, yeah, they did. And so did yours. Alright, let's do this. Pidgey! This battle can be really irritating if you just have Bulbasaur. Because he has Pidgey, which is super effective against you. It doesn't have Gust yet, I don't think. And then he has Charmander, which is also super effective against you. I think it has Ember, though. Actually, I think both of them have their moves. Not the point. Quick attack. Oh, yeah. I think both of his Pokemon are level 9. While my red is level eight, but he'll be fine. He's dang good. I told you, kicking butt. Oh, that's beautiful. Charmander. No. So you kind of need a second Pokemon if you're playing with Bulbasaur for this battle. But I'm just gonna heal up, and we're gonna take this guy downtown. Oh, that's that's real cute. Quick attack. Boom, son. Oh, that's the same exact amount of damage. Ugh. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play dirty. Let's go. Come on, McDale. Use some dirty tactics. I believe in you. Okay, he's got scratch going on here, but we got leech seed, and he still has scratch because he's not smart. Not quite sure if he does have ember, but I don't know. He's not using it either way. Maybe we can go for a tackle. I don't think he does have it, but whatever. We are taking this guy downtown with our weak starter against his strong type starter. Real good. This is going great. And next turn he's dead no matter what, even if I miss. His leech seed will finish him off. Finish him off. Tackle! And Trimander goes down. Alright. Ah, you just lucked out. Now I trained out. Out of my mind, that is. I heard the Pokemon League is crawling with tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dawdling and get a move on. What about you, smart guy? You were here first. It means you must have been dawdling. You're trying to skip ahead of the Pokemon League? What a joke. Either way, we kicked his butt real good, taught him who's boss. And now I need to go heal. Because, you know, he, he did a good number on me, but I took him down downtown. As you know what I'm saying. Ah, alright. So now that we've beaten Blue, I think it's high time that we start catching a bunch of Pokemon. 
not to use, just to have. Because, if you remember, he said it won't be necessary for the Pokedex task. And while he's absolutely right, we're going to make him wrong. Because a lot of items in this game require you to catch many Pokemon. All the good items, at least. And if we want to do the after game, you have to catch 60 freaking Pokemon. So, starting early is definitely recommended. Alright, so, starting off, let's go catch a Pidgey, shall we? Wait. I don't need Rattata in front anymore. Alright. Alright, Miguel, show him his boss. Let's catch a Pidgey. And it's a Pidgey. Perfect. Just what I wanted. I've used a Pidgey before. Definitely good. I recommend it. Personally, I'm not using it this time because I got Rattata. Also, you can find Rattatas in the other route where Gary was. Or Blue. Whatever. Alright, we got him to red. Perfect opportunity to chuck a ball at his face, give him some premature brain damage uh, fr of friendship. Yep, friendship. Yep. Nothing bad over here. Just friendship. You know, no brain damage at all. No? Alright. Hit him with friendship brain damage. Or drain burmage. If you want to play that way. A common sight in forests and woods. It flaps its wings at ground level to kick up blinding sand. Alright, Mr. Science. Uh, why not? I'm gonna name him. I'm gonna put all of. I'm gonna do all caps for just random things that I'm not actually gonna use. Glidey. Because he's a bird and stuff. Yeah. Alright, back to the Pokemon Center where we can use one of those special high-tech computers that are paid for by the government and spy on us, obviously, except, you know, internet. I don't know what I'm saying. Either way, I'm going to use this thing, and we are going to use someone's PC, hacked into their Facebook account, because they left it on, and we're going to put our Glidey in there, because we don't need him. He's just there for the Pokedex. Have fun in there, buddy. In your virtual space of space. Alright. Now, we go onwards to a side route. Yeah, I know. Them, them words, man. Alright, here, we need to catch the two new Pokemon that be here. The one that we saw was Mankey. I never ran into Sparrow, even while I was training. And spoilers, that's the other one here. It's a Rattata. You are not welcome here. Get out of here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Mankey, or, you know, Rattata. I don't need to really speed up things that I'm running from, because it's already going very fast. Come on. There we go. Come on, something something new. There it is. Hey, buddy. I'm going to give you some brain damage friendship, some drain burmage. Okay. You play a dangerous game, Mr. Mankey. But I'm going to give you some drain burmage, right and fit, friendship included. Alright, get into the tiny little ball, you crazy monkey thing. Get in there. Good boy. Alright, we got our monkey pig, and he's going to go on the PC as soon as we catch his friend Spiro on this route. Extremely quick to anger. It can be to docile one moment, then thrashing away the next moment. It's a wild Mankey, let's poke it. It's real vicious. Let's poke it with a stick. Oh, it's angry. Oh, jokes. Yes. Last time I used one of these things, I named it Ponky, so let's just do that. Not that important when I name these guys. Alright, and then we got one more. Come on, Spiro. There it is. Alright. It's getting cold in here. Use a tackle. Switch off the fan because I'm freaking cold. Oh, he's got peck. It's feisty. I like that. No. <laughs> uh, oh. Alright. Pokebiel. Forgot about that. Alright. Spear was cut. Excellent. Oh, voice cracks. It bugs in grassy areas. It has to flap its short wings at high speeds to stay airborne. It's secretly a hummingbird in disguise. Yes. I'm gonna name him because of that little statement. 
Just came up with it on the fly. Humming way. Face perfectly. W A Y. Humming way from Final, Fan Final Fantasy IV. I don't know if it's another one, but I know he's in there. So yeah. Humming way. Changes your name and such. I think that's his name, right? I don't know. That's what I was thinking of. Alrighty then. I could be totally wrong on his name. Either way, that's Hummingway. Sounds very familiar, so I think I got it right. Alright, Hummingway and Ponky are going into your PC. Hummingway's gonna have a nice little friend by the name of Glidey. I'm gonna put these guys in the order that I catch them. Alright. So now, we shall move on. And we are already almost done with this episode. Catching those things took so long. Alright, so let's go. I go shopping in Pewter City occasionally. I have to take the, wi the winding trail in the Viridian Forest when I go. Hey, old man. Well, now that I've had my coffee, and that's what I need to get going. Hmm, what is that red box you have? Oh, you're working on your Pokedex. Then let me give you a word of advice. I give up on the old man voice for that sounding like Oak. Wherever you catch a Pokemon, the Pokedex automatically updates its data. You don't know how to catch Pokemon. Of course I do, you crazy geezer. And he initiates a Pokemon battle with a Weedle. Wild Weedle. And I can't do crap here, but since you all know how to capture Pokemon by now, I'm just going to speed over this because this is kind of irritating. I've already shown you how to do this. Very simple. There. Now tell me, was that educational? Was it not? Ah, here. Take this too. Obtained the Teachy TV. Well, there's something you don't understand. Watch that. It will teach you about the basics of being a Pokemon trainer. Well... Let's do that. Actually, not really. I'm not going to actually use it, but it, I'm, there it is. It's yellow. It's got a little handlebar. The television that it, that set, a television set that is tuned to a program with useful tips for novice trainers. No. Uh, that's just a little video tutorial thing about matchups and such like. It's it's the basics, which I don't really need, and uh, you don't you shouldn't either. By the end of this, we'll learn together. And by that, I mean you'll learn while I show you. Now, in this route, I. I don't believe there's anything new. Although there might be some things from the Viridian Forest that are in here too, but I doubt it. I'm not going to waste my time, because even if there are, they're going to be in the next route. Here we are, folks. Our first gate. Yeah, I know. Rattata may be small, but don't underestimate his wicked bite. Have you come already? Yes, I have, and he's a true bro. Are you going to Viridian Forest? It's a it's a natural maze in there. Be careful you don't get lost. All right, we'll do. And now, welcome, folks, to the Viridian Forest with a cutout thing. Ugh. I came with some friends to catch some bug Pokemon. They're all itching to get in get into some Pokemon battles. One of these sides. Antidote. Very useful for this area. All right, so now we're in this new area with some new Pokemons. Caterpie! Very good, actually. I would recommend this if you wanted to catch something in the Viridian Forest. Caterpie. Very nice. It's better than its evolution Metapod, because you, once it evolves it can still use moves that it learned as a Caterpie, and if you catch a Metapod in the wild it's just gonna know hard. And it will be completely useless. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah. That's about it on Caterpie. I would definitely recommend this over anything else in this forest, besides maybe Pikachu, which maybe we're going to run into, I doubt it, because it's only like 5%, and I don't feel like doing that for 40 minutes of real time. Know what I'm saying, saying? Alright, I think there's an item over here. No, there's not. And battle. Another Caterpie. Uh, let's see if we can level up off of this guy. Yeah, Caterpie has some decent defense, actually. So that's another thing. And it gave us some decent experience getting us to level 10. 
and we learned Vine Whip, which is great. But that move and the rest of this crazy whacked up forest is going to have to wait until next time on Pokemon Leaf Green. I've been Crimble Pancake, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.